Hey Moxie, it's Dylan Gossett. Without dying, met the, devil without trying the, uh, the story behind Cole is um, I was going through kind of some rough patch with kind of work and life and uh, I was kind of just in a rut and I felt like I just really could not get out of it and it felt like the more work I was putting in, I wasn't really getting anything out. Yeah, it just kind of felt like that. Like, it, you know, all this pressure and all this, and I was still cold, not turning into diamonds. So, if I could collaborate with any artist, dead or alive, uh, I think Elvis Presley. Uh, just classic. I mean, just, he's my mom's favorite, so she would also love it. The most unexpected place for inspiration for a song. I mean, I, I feel like it's always kind of somewhere unexpected, because it, like, I mean, sometimes I'll sit down and be able to write one, and it, it just kind of happens, but, to be honest, I'd probably go to the bathroom or something, you know? <laughs> it's where you have time to think. I don't know. Probably, probably something like that. So if, if Cole's in a different genre, that's a great question. What would it be? Uh, I'll tell you what. I've, I've heard some remixes of Cole, like in house, like EDM music, and it sounds sick. Uh, I'd probably have like an EDM. Yeah, I think so. These massive switch up. An artist that I would switch the genre, I would choose... Oh man, these are good questions. Like maybe just for fun, <laughs> like George Strait rap or something like that, or like do like a pop song, just like the king of country do some pop. Yeah, that'd just be fun. I mean, probably wouldn't be the best, but it could be cool to hear. If I had a verse on an artist track, I like love like soul music, like uh, maybe like sitting on the dock of the bay or something like that. I think that could be a really cool one. I, I love singing like those classic songs. That could be a really cool one. I sing it in a talent show. One year, no. um, yeah, didn't place, didn't did, didn't get a medal, so maybe maybe that shouldn't be the song. <laughs> I don't know. If I could summarize the EP vibe of uh, songs in the gravel, I would say exactly that. Like it's it's kind of songs that I like singing at the campfire in the gravel at the lake house. They're folky. They're very instrumental uh, with you know like banjo and fiddle and it's just raw sounds that that, that we love. So.